Yo, what's good? We back for another edition of CT's RPT. Real Prison Talk with Wes. And today, tonight I should say, we gonna break down a prison commissary sheet. So, I've said this multiple times before. We all know I'm in halfway house. And I've been here since September, you know. I just uh I just started working, so I should be moving up out of here maybe within the next couple of months or whatever. Hopefully a couple of weeks. But um dudes come here from prison all the time. And every day, almost every day, but periodically. Frequently, I should say. Dudes come here from prison. And I was... I was minding my business going wherever I was going. I think I was going to the shower or something. I can't remember. And one of the new dudes... Was unpacking his stuff. As he's unpacking his stuff... I run across this. Prison commissary slip. I don't like your homie. What you about to do with that? He like, oh, I'm about to throw it away. He grab it, boil it up. He about to throw it away, whatever. I'm like, nah, let me get that. Because I know there's a lot of a, a lot of people out there that's probably never seen one of these before. And really don't know how we got to live, you know what I mean? And what we got to do and, and how we make do with what we got, you know what I mean? So that's what we're going to get to today. We're going to break down this, this commissary slip. And I'm going to show you what I would do because I was in prison for a nice little piece. So I'm going to show you what I would do with one of these. First, let me get me something to write on. How can I turn my camera so that you can see what's going on here? So as you see, this is a prison commissary slip. Hopefully you can see it. And up here, you will put your facility. I don't feel this out so many times. You put, let me see, is it good? Yeah, okay. Carl Robinson here. That was the last facility I was at. Unit, I was in one building. Whoops. I was in one building, so I will put 1A. Bed location. What was my bed location? 70, 79. My name will go here. Sign here. MA number will go here. You write it in. And bubble it. Funny thing about the MA number. You write it in here. Three, seven, one, one, four, seven. All right, now, even though I wrote it in here, you have to bubble it in here. Now, this is what's crazy about this commentary slip. If you write and don't bubble or bubble and don't write, your commissary won't come. I've seen whole orders get sent back. And believe it or not, in prison, commissary is everything. So, you want to make sure you fill this out correctly. Print your name here. 
know my handwriting is sloppy. I definitely don't write that sloppy. I write a lot better than that. But I'm just want to go through this real quick and show y'all what I will, how I will fill out. So now we got the top all filled out. So now we ready to rock and roll and get down to business. As you can see up here, the first thing I would do, this is stamped envelopes. First thing I would do is get five of those. Put in five stamped envelopes. 60 cents, 60 cents an envelope. It's about $3. If I remember it correctly. Five envelopes is $3. Me, I buy five envelopes every time I go to the store. There's certain things that I buy every time I go to the store. Five envelopes are one of them. And this is going to take some explaining. Envelopes are one of our ways of being able to communicate with our loved ones. So, there's nothing worse a feeling. But it probably is worse a feeling. I'm being over-exaggerated. But it's a horrible feeling to get that, that letter from that chick that you've been waiting for. You've been harassing. Or whoever, get that good piece of mail. And you got so much to say, you want to hurry up and get back? Because bad enough, we living in the stone age where we got to communicate through mail. You want to get this letter back to this person as fast as possible. But you ain't got no envelope, no stamped envelopes. So now what you got to do is you got to run around the jail with two soups. Yo, you can sell me an envelope. Yo, you can, because that's the equivalent. The soups is, is like money in jail. The food is money. The soups is really the easiest currency. Three soups is one dollar. Being at a uh, envelope costs sixty cents. One envelope will cost you two soups. So you don't want to be running around a jail trying to find somebody to sell you an envelope for two soups. Now, the thing is, let me get a better pen. You might have to. If you, and this is why I buy certain things. Because if you can't find somebody to sell you an envelope, you got to go to what's called the store. Jailhouse store is what I ran when I was in jail. So that would be the dude that had enough money to buy bulk of everything off the commissary slip that people need. And now you have to go to him. Problem with going to the store, when you go to the store, you got to pay me back my envelope plus the tax. You don't just give me back what you pay for. You got to pay more, which is why I never condone going to a store, you know what I mean? But some dudes, that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do, you know what I mean? Everybody ain't fortunate enough to be able to go to commissary and buy these things. Some dudes get things through their hustle or through the poker table or whatever, and you need an envelope and you can't you ain't got money to go to the store and buy one, but you just hit the poker table big, you gotta take what you got from the poker table and go to the store and buy an envelope. So me personally, that's why I buy five envelopes every time I go to the store. Until I get a thick once I get a thick stack of envelopes, I kinda fall back. And then I write, you know what I mean, and they they'll decrease. And once they get thin, then I'll start buying five again. Same thing down here. With the soap. I don't know if you can see it, but you can only get two bars of soap. Every time I go to the store, I get soap. You look at my locker, there were rows and rows of soap. Hygiene is important to me. So I would also get two bars of soap every time I go to the store. Make sure I had stacks and stacks of soap. Because, um, like I said, my hygiene is important. And some dudes, you know, it's not that important to them. Some dudes would rather get food when they get their money. Instead of getting the things that'll make their hygiene better, they'll get food. So the soaps, two bars of soap at 75 cents for this moisturizing bar will cost me a dollar fifty. With my envelopes that cost me three dollars, now we're at four fifty. Mind you, I wonder if they say it on here. You can only spend $75 worth of stuff on this slip. 
And some people say, oh, I was talking to I was talking to somebody and they said, oh, that's more than enough. You don't need $75. That's what you think. That's why I'm breaking this down. Watch how fast this go. So we got five envelopes and two bars of soap. And we're at $4.50. Let me just bubble that in right quick. Moisture bars and bars. Now we have four fifty. I'm going to assume that because, like I said, since my hygiene was important, when it comes to toothpastes and uh, deodorants, I had a big bag full of hygiene products. As far as toothpaste, you don't, I didn't have to buy one every time I went to the store. One thing of toothpaste could last me two to three months. Um... So I only kept maybe four or five tubes of toothpaste aside from the one that I was using. But every time that one emptied and I went and got another one, I bought one to replace it. So I'm not going to get no toothpaste. Let's say we're at one of the points where I don't need toothpaste. We're not going to get toothpaste. We still have $4 though. Uh, lotion was the same way. I went and buy lotion every week. I bought it as needed. But I always had spares. So every time one bottle gone, when I go get a spare bottle, I replace that spare bottle. Same thing with my shampoo. Same thing with my pink lotion. Um, laundry powder bag. I used to buy now. There's some gels that won't allow you. The gel I was just at, you can't have laundry powder bags for some strange reason. But the level four facility that I was in, I used to get a laundry powder bag every week. Or every time I went to the store, I should say. A laundry powder bag is $1.11. We're going to round that off to a dollar because we're at four fifty already. We're going to say that's a dollar now. We're at five fifty Because you get your laundry done in prison, but it's definitely not the best. So you want to do your own laundry. I used to do my own laundry. You need it. Laundry powder for that. Now on the other side. Now we flip it over to the other side. This was mainly hygiene products. The other side is where the food is at. There are certain things that I get every week right off the rip. And 24 soups is one of that. So I would get six of each flavor soup. They give you four different flavors. You got Raymond chicken, Raymond beef, Raymond spicy vegetable, and chili. I would get six of each. And that's the case of soups. That's the most you're allowed to have. I'm going to show you guys. The most you're allowed to have is 24. I don't know if you can see that. It looks kind of blurry. That's the most you're allowed to have. I get six of every kind. I have 24 soups. Soups is like... Eight sixty, I believe, for twenty four. Now I'm doing the math in my head the whole time I'm filling out my slip because I know you can't spend more than seventy five dollars. So I would round that off to nine dollars. I was at dollar fifty plus envelopes is three dollars. That's four fifty plus the laundry powder was five fifty. $5.50 plus $9 is $14.50. $14.50. Another thing that I always got was 10 bags of rice because I actually stopped eating soup. I don't really care for soup. The soup, like I said, is the money. I use soup to buy other things that I wanted to buy in jail. Three soups is a dollar. It's the easiest thing to transport. Soups is really... So I buy 24 soups so that... I can buy stuff off the land that I need because there's stuff that people create in jail that they don't sell on the commissary slip and not be dudes hustles. You know what I mean? So you might have some guy that bakes cakes and he charge a dollar a slice of cake. That's where my soups come in handy. Here's three soups. Let me get a slice of cake. That's how that works in jail. But the rice, I needed 10 bags of rice because that's what I cooked with. So my white rice, the most you can buy is 10 bags. 
10 bags is 108. I don't know if you guys can even see it. Because white rice, 10 bags, 108. Hope you see it. I'm really doing my best to try to show you everything I'm doing. So at a dollar eight, ten bags is ten dollars and eighty cents. I round that off to eleven dollars because you gotta remember they're gonna add tax. So eleven, we was at fourteen fifty. Now we're at twenty five fifty. We got twenty five dollars already, and we ain't even get no meats yet or no chips. You need chips. So the next thing I'm going, I'm ordering them in order of importance. Chips is what we use to cook with. That's what we use to make our dough. Chips and crackers. So you can almost guess what the next thing I'm going to need is. So I'm going to be frugal. You can only buy the, the maximum amount of chips that you can buy is five bags per flavor. There's different flavors. You can get the sour cream chips, which I will usually get. You can get the whole shebangs. Or you get the buffalo wing blue cheese. You can only get five of whatever flavor you pick. You can buy five of each and get 15 bags of chips, but I'd get five of the sour cream. At a dollar thirty-four. That's like six seventy. Five bags of chips. Six seventy plus the twenty-five fifty we was at. They give us what? 31 20 Let's say we have $32. You got to always round up because you, if you don't get the, the math right, you'll get cut off. Once you get the $75, wherever you're at, wherever you're at on the slip, they go in order. So if you reach $75 and you're all the way up here and you got a whole list of stuff that you ordered down here, the rest of that is not coming. So... So we was at $25.50 and we added eleven. We added six seventy. Thirty. Thirty-one. Twenty. Thirty-two dollars. Thirty-two dollars. You need crackers to help make your dough. I wish when I get out of here, I'm gonna show you how all of this stuff comes together to make sense. But believe it or not, these are the things that's needed. To cook or eat, you know, you don't want to be in jail hungry. They serve dinner at four o'clock. So after four o'clock, it's like 8.30 at night. What am I supposed to do? You know what I mean? You, gotta, you want to be able to go in that locker, pull out some stuff, and make you a good meal. Decent meal. Good meal. So the saltine crackers are the cheapest ones. You can get five. That's the limit. It's five. But you don't need five. We're being frugal here, so you just get one. Salty crackers are $1.79. $2. So you got $32, then you got $33, um, $34. One of the main ingredients that dudes in jail use for their meals that they make is cheese. I don't know if you guys can see this. There's There's cheese up here somewhere in the top. Provolone cheese. I'm gonna stop showing you because this, 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 this looks blurry. I don't know if you guys are seeing it anyway. You're just gonna have to take my word for the things that I'm saying that's on here. So, I will get a provolone cheese bar. I will buy five of them. They're $1.28, so I believe five of them was $6.40. We were at $34. $34 plus another $6 put us at $40. I will also get squeeze cheese because that's another ingredient that big ingredient with dudes in jail. One bottle of squeeze cheese is $3.44. We're at $40 already plus another $3.50. We're at $43.50. Now I will worry about what type of meat I will put in my meals. They have beef stew, which is good for a personal. A lot of times I cook with the homies, you know what I mean? But 
A lot of times I cook just something by myself, you know. Beef stew, it came in like a little pouch. That's nice for a little personal. You throw that in the pot, let it warm up, open it up, drop it in a bowl and eat it. So I always grabbed a couple of those. In case I didn't feel like cooking with nobody, I just made me some beef stew. Beef stew is a dollar sixty-two. And five, you the most you can get of those is five. So I mean that's five that's eight. Eight dollars and twenty cents. We're at we were at forty. What did we get? Forty three fifty plus another eight. That give us fifty one. Fifty one seventy. We have fifty one dollars. We only have twenty four dollars left out of our seventy five dollar budget. And all we got is soups, rice, chips, crackers. Cheese, beef stew. We still have to get meat that if you want to cook a meal with somebody, it has to be some type of meat in there. You can't just have rice. So, one of my favorites used to be this jerk pork that they sell. Jerk, the jerk pork was pretty good. I would buy a couple pouches of that. That's another little meal I used to use for personals too. So, I would get like three jerk porks. One jerk pork pouch is three dollars and thirty seven cents. So three of them is like three six nine nine ninety plus. It's like eleven ten dollars and some change. We're gonna round it up to eleven dollars. We were at fifty one, I believe. Fifty one plus eleven is sixty two. $62. We ain't even get no fish yet. Fish is like... I used to get fish every time I went to the store because it's pro good protein. For dudes that be working out, the fish is good for you. I used to get the Jack Mac. Where is it at? Mackerel. $1.24. 10 of them is $12.40. Definitely get 10, 10 fishes. Now we're already at $61, $62, rounded up to $62, another $13, that'd be $73. That's $75 right there. We spent the whole $75, and the slip ain't even bubbled up. You see little dots here and there. You got your envelopes, you got soap, and you got your laundry powder on the hygiene side. On the other side, you got your soups so that you can you can live. Basically, everybody want money in their pocket, just like being in the streets and wanting to have that knot in your pocket. Like, I got my bank cards, I got my cash app cards, but I still got that knot, you know what I mean? And maybe it's just an old drug dealer's habit. Always got to have that knot in my pocket. That's what your soups are. Even if I don't, even though I didn't eat soups, I bought soups every week. That's the money. You got your fish, 10 mackerels. You got your cheese to cook with. You'd be surprised with these little bit of items that I have. You'd be surprised what dudes make with them. Like, dude, take the mackerel and make fish cakes with it. Put a little bit of uh, slice of provolone cheese inside the fish cake. It's better than going to get that slop. I mean, it's definitely better than going. I had officers come to my cell. Smelling what I was cooking and be like, damn, what's that? What? What's that, Smith? You got your chips. You got your crackers for you can make your dough. You break the chips and the crackers up, add a little bit of hot water to it, turn it back into dough so that you can flatten it out, put meat in the middle of the dough and make meat wraps, whatever you want to do, fish wraps, whatever you want to do. You got your rice. You got your beef stew in case you, for the days you don't feel like cooking. And you got your jerk pork, which I used to think was wonderful. And that is $75, believe it or not. And there's still so much more on here. You ain't, we ain't even touched like sweets. Dudes that 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 got them sweet tooths and want them honey buns. We ain't touched the uh candies like the Reese's peanut butter cup. I never really never I really never bought none of that stuff. 
all the like the sour neon worms, I was a victim of. I would buy those. That's something else that I used to put in my budget. I needed sour neon worms, and I needed them uh, gummy uh, chewy lemon heads. I love them. Um, other things I used to buy was a trail mix. They had trail mix, salted, unsalted nuts and yogurts. I used to love them trail mix. I used to buy those all the time. Um, for dudes that like to cook, you have to buy certain condiments. This ranch dressing, dudes do wonders with that in jail. So I used to get the ranch dressing a lot. I always needed hot sauce. for. I bought hot sauce. Funny story, I used to buy the hot sauce. Just for Big Chicken Day. We get Big Chicken one Sunday out of every month. And I'd buy the hot sauce just for that. But I had a bunkie that loved hot sauce. And his hand was kind of heavy. You know, and by the time Big Chicken Day come, he you know, used all the hot sauce. Two months in a row, two, three months in a row, that happened. Because I, I would buy it. It's always the last month, the last Sunday of the month, we get Big Chicken Day. I'd make the mistake of buying it in the beginning of the month. Not knowing that this dude don't ran through it and he don't go to the store. So now Sunday come, I go looking for the hot sauce. He says, oh, we ain't got no more. We ain't got no more. Mind you, I live when I live in a cell with somebody, I live with a I live with my bunkie like that's my brother. And we growing up just like I do in, in this house. Bunk beds, got bro on the top bunk, I'm on the bottom bunk, you know? So whatever I used to buy, we share. But God, come on, man. I ain't even get to use that to tell a dude like yo, you gonna have to start even replacing it, or saving some for the person that 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 actually purchased it, bro. And peanut butter is another must. I don't know how I didn't get the peanut butter. The peanut butter and the oatmeal, that's another thing that especially dudes that, that be on a workout like me. I used to get the peanut butter, put it in the oatmeal. I'm a greedy dude, so I used to throw all type of other stuff in my oatmeal too, like uh, oatmeal cream pies I used to throw in my oatmeal, and duplex cookies I used to crush up and throw in my oatmeal, but a lot of protein in that peanut butter, so I used to definitely get the peanut butter. Um, pepperoni, that's that was like my favorite thing to cook with pepperoni. I, I mean, if you can't tell by now, I eat pork, if you can't tell by the jerk pork that I said I'd buy. But pepperoni, when I when I used to cook with the pepperoni, I used to make a pepperoni wrap with that provolone cheese that I told you I bought. I used to slice some slices of provolone cheese and wrap that up with the with in the dough with, with some pepperoni in the middle and drop that in the banger. The banger is with a jailhouse pot. I think I already explained what a stinger is, but we call it the banger. Drop that in there and let that cook till that cheese melt melt through that pepperoni. Oh man, it used to be crazy. What else did not get to on here? Honey buns, danishes, all that type of stuff that dudes like. We got all that on here, man. And that's basically, you know what I mean? I don't I broke down one week worth of commissary. We spent $75 already on this slip. So the peanut butter and all that other stuff that I named, we would have to wait till next week to order that. You only allowed to order seventy five dollars of your own money. So that was the breakdown of commissary slip. How I would do it if I was still in there. This slip would look totally different if it was like me first coming in. Me first coming in, I would have to get my rag, my toothbrush, and all that. I filled this slip out as if I had already been in jail for a while, like as if I was still in there, and commissary day was. Commissary slip pass out day was today and they just passed me this today. I didn't fill it out as if this was day one and I needed my towel, my face cloth. By now, I already got all of that. So that's why I filled it out. And then next week I will have to get like, only thing I see that I left out was the peanut butter and oatmeal and of course my pepperoni. For you coffee drinkers, coffee is like drugs in jail. So for you coffee drinkers... I would also buy bags of coffee and then I would open it up and I would bag them up. I would get plastic bag from the bubble and I would make what they call coffee balls. So you make about 30, 30 to 35 coffee balls from one bag of coffee and I sell coffee balls. It's just a little ball of coffee wrapped up in some plastic about that big for one soup. Another little hustle I had at one time. 
like I said, that's the breakdown of the commissary slip. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button for me. Follow me on Instagram at wes.smith.129. And I apologize. This is one of the longest videos I've ever done. And there's just still so much on this commissary slip that I didn't get to. Um, I really couldn't show y'all the way I wanted to show y'all because it looked like the camera's kind of blurry. But uh, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Until next time, peace.